how do you make a raspberry pie? Well, this factory at Pencoid in South Wales has made a million of them now. And uh, Gareth Jones is going to teach us how to bake a raspberry pie. Gareth, uh, okay. take us away. Thank you very much. So the first part is uh, we'll deposit the solder paste onto the bare board. We'll do that using a 100 micron screen to very, very high accuracy. We'll deposit the exact right amount of paste and exactly the right amount so that we know that we have a reliable solder joint as opposed to the rest of the process. Then we'll move on to mounting the chip components themselves. So after we've deposited the paste, which is a viscous paste, this machine will actually pick up the chip components down to as small as one millimeter by 0.5 millimeter. Uh, it will pick them up by means of a vacuum and position them onto the printed circuit board, again with very high accuracy and actually blowing it onto the circuit board in the right position automatically as we gradually build up the population of the components on the printed circuit board. And this line will mount around about 400,000 components a day. The Raspberry Pi contains uh, quite a clever little uh, technical uh, build requirement called package on package. This is where we mount the main processor onto the printed circuit board and then we mount the memory device directly on top of that. This is a key part of the process, Absolutely, the most important part Absolutely really. key part and one which we had to invest a, a certain amount of time, effort and, and expense to make sure that we got this part of the process uh, perfect because the alignment between the two parts is very critical and without that alignment being correct then obviously the device will not work successfully. So by the time we get to this part of the process you'll see that all six the of them, one, two, six, three, four, five, six. Six pies we built on a, on a panel, obviously we populated on both sides of the printed circuit board as you can see there. And now for the first time we're going to get humans actually doing stuff. Exactly, and now the last remaining few larger components will be placed uh, by our staff by hand. The boards are placed in this carrier which protects the underside of the board from the wave solder which the panels are just about to pass through. And actually here's the first time we see them one by one. That's right. Uh, so We've separated the, each pie out from the panel, panel of six, and this final part of the process is where we will electrically test the Raspberry Pi. We'll inject a number of input signals into the board and we're looking obviously for the right responses. So this simulates a full functional test. So here we've got the finished product. Let's just have a quick look at it. There it is. Um, complicated process, but you've got to make it really cheap to do because it's a cheap computer. So that's the... Uh, that's the finished Raspberry Pi, that's the baking process. One thing, don't try this at home. <laughs>